When my grandmother was five, she had a really bad strep throat infection. And it went to her heart, and she got a heart problem called rheumatic heart disease. So my grandmother had heart surgery in the 70s, and I watched her always be a little bit sick and ultimately died prematurely, large part because of this heart problem. Back in the 19-teens when she grew up, this was a rampant disease that was really common. It became eradicated in the mid-40s. Well, 40 years later, in Uganda, in the developing world, the number one heart problem is rheumatic heart disease. So ironically, I'm actually working to prevent children from developing the same problem my grandmother had. Nearly 50 million people are impacted. Over a quarter million die every year. In Africa alone, there's several million children that have rheumatic heart disease and probably over 100,000 in Uganda. Prevention of rheumatic heart disease is one of the biggest things we can do. The real way to prevent rheumatic heart disease is to find patients that are affected in the very early stages. That's your heart beating, pretty cool, huh? Give them monthly penicillin and prevent them from becoming one of the 250,000 people a year that die from rheumatic heart disease. You look in their eyes, and I know that if you don't fix their heart, they're gonna die. I thank them very, very, very much for taking care of our children. How are you feeling? It's all about the kids. They just don't have the ability to feel sorry for themselves. And if someone, no matter how sick they are, doesn't feel sorry for themselves, and I have the ability to help them even a little bit, then I better be doing my best.